Greetings, everyone. This is Pastor Jerry Orr coming from Dominion Life in Bryson City, North Carolina. We're right here in the heart of the Great Smoky Mountains. Today, I'd like to share with you something I saw out of Ephesians, the sixth chapter. I saw that this was a military phrase, and it, uh, it jumped out at me, and I wanted to share it with you, and I hope it does your heart good. Well, we're in Ephesians, the sixth chapter, so grab your Bible and, and uh, maybe a, a notebook, a pen, and let's go to work. Ephesians, the sixth chapter, verse 13. He says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Now, first thing I've done was I just, I looked up that word stand, just right out of the Webster Dictionary. And I come up with like nine different definitions that I want to share with you. The first one is uh, a stand is just to take or to be at rest in an upright or a firm position. And that's uh, such as an erect position or to grow in a proper place or to take or occupy a certain standing position or to obtain a specified height. Like we used to say in the military, or I, they used to always uh, tell me when we we're counting cadence, it's like standing tall and looking good. And I thought that was pretty neat. This, that's why I guess this, this phrase to stand really, um, I, I really noticed it. All right, the second definition means to occupy or hold a place. Once you've taken an objective, you want to, to stand and hold that place. And of course, the third was to pause or stop. And uh, you need to stop every now and again and, and, and take account of where you're at in life. And they would tell us that once you have obtained a, a great victory, the most vulnerable spot is on that uh, objective because, you know, the enemy doesn't like losing either. So that's the, the, the time that they're going to try to take it uh, away from you. So you need to, to stop and pause. And, of course, we would take the time to read the strip and ammo and make sure our supplies was coming in and, and that we had everything to hold that position. The fourth definition is to remain unchanged or unimpaired. In other words, you want to last. You want to abide. Abide in the Word of God. And you want to, to last out. Outlast the enemy, if you will. And the fifth definition is to hold one's ground. In other words, in other words uh, maintain that position. The sixth definition was to be fixed or steadfast. Oh, I enjoy hearing that. Be steadfast in the Word of God. And the seventh one I really like, to act in resistance. You know, the Word says we are to resist the devil, and he must flee from us. So that was a good definition. The eighth one, course is to stand on guard and it, it it's all about life I know uh, one time we were in on maneuvers and we were in Alaska it's like 40 below and somebody had to stand on guard even uh, to make sure the, the stove would keep running because we didn't want to freeze to death and the ninth definition was to resist or withstand and face, and you want to face with courage and with steadfastness. The Lord loves that patience and steadfastness. So that's the, the nine definitions I found in Webster. Now, 
Like I said, I read out of the King James Bible, Ephesians 6, 13. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Now, I looked that up in the Greek New Testament, and it says, and having achieved all things to stand. Well, I thought that was pretty interesting. So I got my, my uh, Amplified Bible out. As Ephesians the sixth chapter, verse 13 in the Amplified. Therefore put on God's complete armor that you may be able to resist and stand your ground. He's talking about on the evil day of danger and having done all, having done all that the crisis demands to stand firmly in your place. Having done all to stand. And like I said, that is a military phrase. We're not just standing as in milling around, but we are standing, having conquered all. We're standing, ready to do battle again. Watching and waiting for the will of God to be accomplished in our life. Listen to the instruction from the commander in chief, the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ. I just wanted to encourage you to stand today. Thank you.